Jakarta is the very underrated and still extremely unexplored capital city of Indonesia. Travelers rarely spend their time in the megacity and instead only use the airport for a quick transit to other parts of Indonesia. But we will show you why Jakarta is absolutely worth a visit. Our names are Mike and Laura and we have Polish and German roots and are travel vloggers since 4 years. In total we spent about 6 months in Indonesia and fell in love with Jakarta ever since. Let's start with the video. Starting with number 10, about 84% of Jakarta citizens are Muslims, which is why it makes sense that Jakarta is home to the biggest mosque of Southeast Asia. Mosque Izikal has space for more than 120,000 people and is very impressive inside and out. Take a tour and get to know more about religion and huge building. Just as beautiful is the Jakarta Cathedral, which is located right on the other side of the street. The Roman Catholic Cathedral was built in 1901 and looks absolutely beautiful. The location of both houses of religion right in front of each other sends a very clear message to the world about the mutual respect between Jakarta citizens. Place number 9 is the national stadium of the country, the Gelora Bung Karno Stadium, also called GBK. In 2018 the Asian Games were held in this huge stadium. Take a stroll in the park around or buy a ticket to have a look at it from within and perhaps even watch people train. You can take a break at one of the small cafes right at the GBK. JBK also offers some fun activities which directly brings us to number 8, the Moja Museum. The Museum of Art Jakarta is a very photogenic museum with interesting and fun rooms to look at modern art. But that's not all. Moja has an own roller skater park called Roja. Equipped it with LED lights, music and photogenic spots, it's the perfect way to spend a fun afternoon, especially for younger generations. Roja is very Instagrammable and also perfect for beginners. You don't have to bring roller skates since you will get those at the entrance. Just make sure to bring your own camera. Dive deep into Indonesia's landscape and history at our number 7. Taman Mini Indonesia Inda is a huge Indonesian miniature park that presents landscapes, buildings, temples and traditions from many Indonesian areas. The park itself has an entrance fee of 20,000 rupias. You can rent a motorbike, a bicycle, get around by train, by bus or the gondola. But let me tell you, it's impossible to visit every single attraction of the park by foot since it's so huge. We advise you to rent a bike to explore the park so that you can stop at every single attraction, museum or whatever you want to see. And trust us, there's a lot to see. Our place number 6 is the northern area of Jakarta called Pik 2. In the past years, Pik 2 has evolved to become a hip culinary district offering many different street food options at this trip accompanied with live music. The vibe is just amazing. Make sure to try the coconut ice cream there as well. Pik 2 also has a little Chinatown which is especially nice and photogenic in the evening. Try some Chinese food and be inspired by the detail-rich structure which is modeled after the classic Chinatown. The historical old town of Jakarta is our place number 5. Kota 2 is amazing to learn about the history of Jakarta. The buildings are still in the original Dutch structures and now home to many museums. It feels like being transported back to the 17th century. In front of the old city hall is the Fatahila Square which is a place surrounded by colonial style Dutch structures with cafes, art galleries and museums. Let's have some fun at place number 4. Dunia Fantasy is a theme park with over 40 rides and attractions. It is located at Uncle Area where you can also find other attractions such as Atlantis Water Park, SeaWorld and Uncle Beach. Scream in thrillful roller coasters and get wet in water adventures because Dufan is great for every age. For younger children, Dufan is also a great kid area. With the amazing public transportation system of Jakarta, it is really easy to get there. This also brings us to number 3. Trying Jakarta's public transportation is a must. The great network of trains and Trans Jakarta buses will get you everywhere you need and it's very affordable as well. Drive in all Japanese trams of the car RL system or enjoy the modern MRT train to get around. Other options are Grab and Gojek that you can book on the app and they will bring you literally everywhere. We visited some of the most impressive malls ever in Jakarta. The Grand Indonesian Mall is a 640,000 square meter complex with many stores and restaurants. You can for sure get lost in Jakarta's malls. They offer a huge amount of fun activities as well from ice skating to aquariums and not to mention the amount of stores you can shop at. 
it's definitely possible to spend a whole day at Jakarta Mods. Last but not least, our favorite thing about Jakarta is the street food. This is a must try when you are in Jakarta. You will find street food vendors offering different kinds of food everywhere. From main dishes to dessert to beverages, Jakarta's street food scene leaves no wishes open. It is super affordable as well. Make sure to try Pisang Goreng since this is our favorite street food. Good street food areas are for example right in front of the Grand Indonesian Mall or in the Mentang area. But be aware of the hygiene. That's it with our top 10 things to do in Jakarta. We hope you have a great time there and if you need more inspiration take a look at our Jakarta playlist and don't make the mistake to skip this city because it's huge, fun and very affordable. We, we hope, hope you liked the video, video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!